for part one of the Tom Morhenna choreography. You're actually going to do it twice, and the first time you do it, you're starting off to the right, and the second time you're doing it, you're starting off to the left, and there's just a couple of other differences too. But the main point of it is that you're doing hip lifts to move you traveling side to side. So the first time when we do it and we're going to the right, our left hip is lifting up. Our right hip is going down and our weight's going on that leg and our left hip is the one coming up. And when we start it, the kind of hands that we're going to use are little dive hands, kind of like a little push forward, like we're diving in somewhere. You don't want to do a lot with the hands and take away from the hip motion, but just a little gentle push. So it's going to be an eight count to the right to start with, with our left hip lifting and our hands diving down to the right. And when I say eight count, that's actually four full steps. Now leave your weight off of your left, because the next thing you're gonna do is move with a basic step with your left. Basic step meaning stepping forward and back on that same step, that same foot. Now sometimes when we do that, we do a hip shimmy. This time we're gonna do a shoulder shimmy the whole time. And we're only gonna go forward, back, forward, and then we're going to kind of come to a little pause here, put our hands on our um, hip bones so we can do a little pop lift on the accent. Then we're going to be ready to go back to our other side. So this time it's going to be to the left. Instead of doing our dive hands, we're going to do the hands where one arm is up and the other arm is framing the hip that's doing the motion, that's doing the lift. So we're going eight count to the left which is also four steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna bring those arms to our neutral position to do our shoulder shimmy. As we're doing our basic step, this time my weight is off of my right, so I'm stepping on the right, forward and back, forward, and then just kind of center up, have a little pause, and pop the chest up again. Now, that same thing happens later when you go to your left first. Um, it's just a difference of direction, but we'll do the dive hands to the left and then the arm extended when we go back to the right. So just the opposite, we're just starting in the opposite direction but doing it the same way. And the footwork is always going to be the same. The part that will be different is that the first time you do it, it's got a little bit of the intro attached to it, so you're going to have some sharp beats. And what we're going to start off with after your improv section, when we're ready for the beats, because hopefully you listen to the music over and over until you can find where those beats are going to hit, we're going to let the first two pass. We're going to be doing a chest V, so up to the right, down, up to the left, back down. But we're going to let the first two beats pass because we will never catch them anyway. So it would look better and more planned if we were in sync. So we'll let one, two pass. Then the lift will be three. The drop will be four. The lift to the other side will be five. The drop back will be six. And then we're going to roll down into our hips for seven, eight. Now that we're at our hips, we're going to do some Omi circles. I always go counterclockwise, that's just the way that feels more natural to me, so that's the way we're doing it. We're going one, two, three, four. We're gonna roll it back up for five, six, and then a quick little shimmy for the seven, eight. So that's gonna come in front of the hip lifts when we do it the first time, but it's not going to the second time because that's part of the intro music that's not gonna show up again later. The other thing that's different is the first time we do it, we're going to just stay facing forward at the end of it, and we're going to do double bumps to the right, double to the left, double to the right, double to the left. And again, I'm letting my hands kind of follow, but I don't want them to get so crazy that they're taking away from the fact that my hips are really bumping. So if you are wearing coins, you should be able to hear your coins really jingle. So that first time, we're doing that to stay facing forward. The second time that we do that sequence of the traveling side to side, we're actually going to turn to the back. And the way that we will turn to the back is that we will um, be doing hip circles to turn ourselves back there. So we're going to go counterclockwise, and um, that's going to take the first six.
count out of the eight, and then our seven, eight will be to bring our arms up. So when I say a hip circle to turn for a six count, I'm really doing three circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then my seven, eight is to bring my arms up to be ready for that next part that we're gonna do. So the part that's traveling right and left is the same each time you do it, but the first time is the only time that we'll do the isolations and then we'll follow it with double bumps. The second time we do it, we won't have those isolations. And instead of doing the double bumps and staying forward, we're gonna take those hip circles to turn us to the back and bring our arms up to be ready for the next section. So let's see what both of those parts looks like um, when you have it in their place in the music.